What's up guys, Chris Tips one how's everyone doing? Look at this shit! I'm finally back in my man lair, in my freaking tit lair, my beautiful cubicle. If you have not checked Mudjug's one video, he just actually uploaded about 30 minutes ago, but he reviewed this, Copenhagen Smooth Wintergreen. Thank you, Jim Gasner. Gasner, I believe, is your last name for sending this to the shop and the guys for all of us to try. I didn't do hardly any gaming this week, so I didn't really have a video to put up on Thursday. So I figured this would be a perfect time. You know, nothing really crazy. No 20-minute video. Just a short video in the tit layer. Reviewing this quickly for you guys. And as usual, just like my last few reviews, I included the guys at the shop. So I'm going to pack a lip. We'll cut to them to give their review on Copenhagen Smooth Wintergreen. And then I'll give you my thoughts. And and maybe show you a few things around this cubicle that uh, have been new since the last time I actually filmed a video here. But nonetheless, this can is nothing special. Plastic, of course. Sticker, of course. But let's just go ahead and pack a quick little tit here. A good nipple size pinch. Who in the fuck is calling the shop at 8 p.m.? But here we go. Oh, that's a nice little orangutan nipple size pinch. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? This is a now let's start with the cut first. Now, just like the Copenhagen Smooth Mint, this Copenhagen Smooth Wintergreen is the same type of cut. This is something that I noticed right out of the bat. Um, it, it's, it's pretty fine. It was pretty fine cut. Initial smell, right off the bat, again, very weak, very mellow. And if you guys saw my Copenhagen Smooth Mint video, you guys kind of know where this is going. But enough of that, let's go see what the guys in the shop think of this dip. Beat the devil out of them. Alright boys, you guys have tried the mint. Now it's time to try the wintergreen. Okay now, dig in. Alright. <clears throat> Pack your lip, pass it around. Now, Brad, your primary dip is what? Copenhagen natural. He always gets a start. Natural. <laughs> we go left to right. We go left to right. Y'all know I do nothing but Copenhagen natural as well. Your primary is Cope Wintergreen. So you're going to so be I'm, able to give the best freaking review, I think. I'm most biased. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I got skull mint right now, but <laughs> it's only the second one I bought so far. And I'm probably gonna be a bad review because I don't like wintergreen. Period. You're not a wintergreen but guy. I'll try it out. All right, take a pinch. I remember it smells pretty similar to uh, cup wintergreen. Oh, no lip pulling. No lip pulling, Jake. I'm gonna pull my lip just to. <laughs> Jones in. You guys notice anything about the cut yet? Mm, it's a little grainier. But pinch it though. It holds together mm. well. You have a very serious look on your face, Jake. What's no, I'm up? I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna take a little more there. You know what? It's not bad. No, it's not. I don't, don't like when it but this is not bad. Uh oh. It's not like I'm gonna dip this every day now. Don't get carried away. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you're a rookie, dude. You just pull it like in the back of your molar or what? Mm -hmm. It's what it look like. <laughs> All right, so initial thoughts. Clean. It's got a clean, like this. clean taste to it. If I was going to go out to a party where I'm talking close to people. Yeah, <laughs> it's a clean taste. No, nice, <laughs> Jake? I like it. I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. I, like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't like it. Ooh, um, one thumbs down. I think. Well, I mean, I was saying I was gonna be biased, but the the I'm realizing that the smooth really means that it doesn't. It's not as strong. It doesn't have as much flavoring. And that's why you like the original. That's why I like the winter, the classic wintergreen. Right. Because it has the flavoring, and it's just almost like this is. And that's probably why I like it a little yeah, bit because too. I don't like that harsh flavor, but it's not too bad. Next. <laughs> it, has, it has a very similar flavor to the original wintergreen, but it doesn't have that punch to the it's face. Not as strong. Yeah. I agree. Uh, Dang. So it. Natty Dipper might like it just because it's more mellow. I mean, I like that wintergreen. Right. I like that I'm in the forest and I'm licking a tree. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. <punching. laughs> Hard shit. Right, though. I mean, it's yeah, not I can bad. do it on occasion. It does, ha it does have the, um, like, kind of how the Cope Natty actually has that like underlying tobacco taste mm -hmm. right flavor it does have more of that but i think it's only because 
It's just not as tainted with as much wintergreen flavoring. I'm gonna give it a six. Turtle? Turtle. Turtles. I like it better than mint, honestly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually agree with you with that one. Yeah. But so the question here lies is is it better than the original? You would say I would say yeah. I would second that. No. <laughs> so there you guys go. That's the shop's opinion on Copenhagen wintergreen. Smooth wintergreen. Smooth. So there you guys have it. Now, my initial thoughts is, again, just like what they were saying, not as pungent, not as powerful, but definitely not bad. I actually, some people might like slap me with their freaking dildo, like across my freaking face, like really freaking hard when I say this, but it kind of has like a red seal wintergreen flavor. That's just me. Those people who have tried it and have tried a uh, red seal wintergreen, let me know if you agree or disagree. Compared to Grizzly Wintergreen, Copenhagen Wintergreen is too sweet for my ass. It looks to me that what Copenhagen is doing with Smooth Mint and Smooth Wintergreen is basically copying Grizzly. Grizzly came out with Dark Mint, Dark Straight, and Dark Wintergreen, which offers a mellower flavor of their brand. Copenhagen is doing the same shit. They're just lowering the punch, lowering the flavor. But you know what? Good on Copenhagen. They should. They should be releasing these. I think uh, we might see a Copenhagen smooth straight. Uh, straight already sucks. I mean, it can, only, it can only get really better, in my opinion. But that's just my two cents, guys. Um, <laughs> This isn't better than Grizzly Dark. I'm just throwing it out there. Just in case somebody freaking asks in the comments. Other than that, guys, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little change of scenery here. I would definitely wouldn't mind filming a video here once every couple months. Um, Nothing much has changed in this cubicle. Um, Let me take you guys somewhere. Let me just unplug you. Somebody asked me a question in my last video. It was a Q&A and it was talking about Seneca rum. This isn't Seneca rum, but this is something very interesting here. Right? That's Seneca cream. I want you to look at this. Now, there's still dip, old ass dip in this shit. Right? That's older than tit dirt. But, dude, check that out. What the hell is that? There's like mold growing on that freaking lid, man. Dirty ass Seneca, what the hell, bro? Look at that, that's like mold. Can't dip that shit. Yeah, but nothing, no, not really new. I got all my snooze shit over here, but not, nothing much has changed. I don't think I reviewed Timberwolf Apple yet. Oh, look at those skulls, oh shit. Longhorn. That shit's nasty. That fine cut? Uh-uh. No, thank you. Let's see. Let's see. And since I'm here, I'm going to be showing you guys a, a, a few mud jugs here. These are one-of-a-kind mud jugs. Basically, the cool thing about working here is, is you get free mud jugs, right? And sometimes we test um, patterns, right? We, we test films with mud jugs to see how they look and to see whether or not they'll sell. Some of these jugs were just one-offs and I gladly keep the ones that I really like. But check this out. And no, we're not going to release these. So don't call, don't email, don't comment. Um, but check this out, dude. That's a Friday the 13th Jason type of film. It has a bunch of different uh, Jason colors, I guess you can... Not Jason colors, mask colors with some blood spatter. Looks pretty freaking dope. I love this one. Um, another cool one is this spatter one. The spatter has like, well, you can't really tell on camera, but it's like a lime green spatter with like a dark uh, gray background, which looks pretty dope. This one, I have no idea what this was, but I like the colors. Obviously, I'm a big color guy, but check this one out. Check out the colors on this one. Now this, you can't even tell what pattern that is, right? I mean, you can see, I think there's like an eagle on here. You can see right here, there's like an eagle with some flames. It looks like there's like a chopper hand or some shit with brass knuckles with some tatted fist or whatever. I thought it was pretty cool. I, li I like the way the orange popped on this one. Let's see. I'll show you guys two more. This with the red funnel looks dope. This is back when we were first testing our Cerakote. And that's a blood spatter. Um, I don't know what you call it. Zombie green with the, with the red funnel. I don't like the way these drops are. They look really artificial. But I do like the spatter effect on this one. That one's cool. But this one, holy shit. You got some zombie faces. This reminds me a lot like Rob Zombie art. Album art. And this is just a bunch of crazy shit. There's like a crazy clown on here somewhere. You can see that right there. Those eyes. This film was just too big. It was too big. 
But hey, I love this jug. And of course, I don't spin in these. I just keep them up for display. Anyways, I don't know if you guys found that interesting or whatnot. I just thought I'd share. Other than that, guys, let's see. It's time I give away a mud jug. This video winner is boom, right there. Get a hold of me on Facebook, brother, and I'll ship out your mud jug ASAP. If you can find it, cool. If not, cool. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna release it nationwide. Um, it's the same story with the smooth mint. Uh, good luck finding it. And that's about it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll give away a free mud jug in the next video. See you guys next week. And you guys all know this. If you ain't dipping, you ain't living. One last thing, guys. We do have the dip run stealths and mud jugs at mudjug.com right now. Um, these are left over from our Indiegogo campaign. The classic mud jug and the stealth are both signed by the Dip Run cast. You can get it at mudjug.com as well as a few t-shirts that were left over. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you guys get notified when my next video is because we all know how YouTube is nowadays, right? Shiza! Bastards. All right, guys. See you next week.